Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Guess the Guest. Um, last episode we had a Mech vs. Rax gameplay on Ravaged. Uh, we had the Rax player get off to an early lead after uh, completely shutting down the initial re uh, Mech push. And then after that it was a bit of a back and forth. Uh, the Rax player lost his entire army for um, the third, except he didn't get even get the third. And then uh, the mech player went across the map with a big scary push, um, which looked really dire, but with 12 racks, um, the racks player was able to defend successfully, and yeah, uh, the racks player ended up winning. So my guest last episode was Stevenator, and we'll see if I was correct. <laughs> and I was not, it was actually El Barto. Okay, El Barto is also a very decent player. Um, Hasn't played in a while, I think. Uh, been taking a bit of a break, but uh, you know, I've seen him online one or two times in the recent uh, couple of recent weeks. So, yeah, well, good game, and uh, we'll hop into today's replay. All right, on Ravaged, we have Destroy Call versus our guest. Um, well, okay, off the bat, we have Destroy Call saying "Have fun, Invictus." So maybe it is Invictus, um, but you can really never really tell. Um, We'll speed up through the early game a little bit. Can't make a good guess until later. Are they? Are they, I guess they're playing guess to guess by themselves. Um, this is okay. I don't if I want to empty my skills and she's coming out of you. Anyways, um, so let's 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 hop right into it. So we have uh just uh standard racks openings. Uh, this one's a little bit quicker, so it looks like it was probably a, a nine. Sorry, not a nine. Eight house, maybe nine house. Probably eight house if I look at it. Um, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, so Raider versus Raider. A destroy call use, likes to blink his Raider across the map, just like that. There you go. Um, he does that to, mostly to punish, um, like, beast builds. Uh, this Raider is going to be significantly, well, not significantly, it's going to be a bit faster than your regular one. So, uh, instead of meeting at the middle of the map, looks like the Raiders are going to clash right about here. <laughs> Uh, and it's going to be a two raiders for destroy call, and it looks like raider into castle. Um, yeah, and we'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, destroy call is a very good player. Uh, if our blue player is able to keep up, then obviously uh, it'd be someone who's also of that strong, high level, high caliber. Um, that was a bit of a mistake. I feel like uh, if that raider was microed a little bit better than. He would have been able to get it, but uh, as the second raider comes, you should just blink black. There you go. And yeah, this is a bit of an advantage for our blue player. Uh, getting away with this greedy opening. Well, greedy in comparison. It's not really that greedy. Um, but yeah. Honestly, this recall could be a little bit more aggressive with these two raiders, but uh, deciding to, you know, just chill. Uh, I do like that our, our, our blue player... Ooh, that is high level. Very, very small detail here, but like, uh, that one, uh, worker that wasn't, uh, that didn't have gold in its hand, he switched it out so that it could finish and, you know, save a little bit of time getting that gold, so that was like, maybe two gold, something like that, so this sort of thing is something that really happens only at the highest level, I feel like, so this automatically makes it, like, super, super high level, I feel like. Or it could be a mistake, you know, but uh, I think this is a high level. Uh, we have two, just two Drax openings. Uh, pretty safe, pretty standard. Okay, so this thing, just just straight off the bat, this rally point is something that Weird Rat does a lot, where he rallies to his own units. So this, I feel like, is going to be Weird Rat. Um, I think most people ten generally tend to just rally to a place like, like this. Oh, this is a bit of a... I'm not really sure if they're... The, the rally points are matched up, uh, but yeah, generally people tend to just rally point to a place rather than to a unit. Uh, you can rally point to a unit, you can't rally to an enemy unit though, so uh, just a tidbit of information for you guys out there. Maybe this is on purpose to like hide quote unquote, but I think the raiders spotted it, let's take a look. Uh, no, so this is actually pretty smart if this is intended, where you're hiding the the... The production of this barracks, but if you really wanted to hide it, you would have put it in the main base, I think. Um, 
but yeah, anyways, high level gameplay, you know, some raiders doing some raider things, getting some scout on. Uh, so the benefit of going for two raiders over, or more raiders versus <clears throat> the lesser raiders is you get a little bit easier scouting in the early game, early mid game. Um, so this person, who I think is a weird rat, but you never know, it might not be, uh, isn't can't send out their raider really well um, or for free because there's a chance that it'll get caught uh, by the two raiders whereas this recall is able to you know come in with that one coming in this one um, this raider might barely survive uh, how much energy oh uh, I think they have some more energy oh this raider falling is not very good uh, that's a bit of a mistake from destroy call um, yeah and I think people will start to get a third base, looks like they're gonna send out a worker right now. Oh, that raider, if he was paying attention, he might have been able to get that, but not gonna happen. And it looks like uh, they're gonna go across the map. Did you see that? Uh, pulling that back, that weak archer, high level move. Uh, something that's really small, you know, costs like a little bit of APM. Uh, you can do it in your games as well. Uh, just before a fight starts, just pulling back the weak work, uh, the weak units. Um, but this is going to be good for destroy call, I feel like. Just get the first couple of shots off, and yeah, that's uh, too many archers for uh, our blue player to really get. And it looks like it's going to lose an uh, archer for free. Uh, so well done by destroy call. But our blue player does have a castle early a third, uh, whereas destroy call is going to go for the early attack. So we do have the workshop on the way. So earlier attack, earlier catapults versus uh, just more economic economy a better economic situation we do have the third a little bit delayed uh, in comparison but yeah things are shipping up to be a bit of a good macro game um, with that defender's advantage uh, our blue player is gonna push back this f bit of force Ooh, okay that's interesting destroy call is gonna sacrifice an archer to save the rest of his archers. One thing you can do, if you want to do something like that, um, you want to do it sideways, I feel like. So you take the the most trailing one, if your opponent is like A-moving, you take the one that's furthest or closest to your enemy, and you do it sideways, I feel like. If you do it straight into the enemy, just like Destroy Call did there, it's just gonna get picked off. But if you like kind of lead it, the army like to a different direction, like this way or that way, uh, then it would be a little bit better, I feel like. This archer is not should not be going there, unless it wants to scout, which I don't think is the case, but yeah, there we go, it's gonna pull that back. And we do have a workshop on the way for our blue player as well. So a bit of a mirror, in a way, but uh, yeah, in this case, I feel like unless our, uh, unless Destroy Call, oh, that, that archer's gonna be taken down, uh, unless Destroy Call ha gets some damage done with his initial push out with uh, the, the catapults, when he has that initial catapult advantage, uh, things are gonna be a little bit difficult because uh, he's behind a little bit economically. Actually, as I say that, uh, the unit count, uh, the work count is pretty similar. That raid is gonna go down. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't take out that weak worker, but that's okay. Um, yeah. So this wall is, I think, a little bit better if you're playing against Beast, but you don't really need it against Rax, I feel like. Um, not something I would recommend, honestly. Um, yeah, it's just... It can be a little bit annoying because if, you, if there's like a handful of archers here, you can't use your workers to like surround. Like if 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 uh, this recall goes for like a drop or something, that's just not good because uh, it's just more difficult to respond. Um, yeah, oh, we have a mill coming up for destroy call. Ah, uh, the mill is okay. I feel like the mill, you know, has to do a bit of harassment damage. Some free damage here, okay. I do like that, pulling only the archers back and bringing the soldiers forward, but uh, our blue player needs to just uh, not get hit by all the catapult shots. Uh, the second catapult is on its way, but uh, so far so good. Pretty good hold. Um, that's a big shot, that's also a big shot. Okay, now you need to back off here. You're, you're not gonna fight this. Uh, one thing, if you are the catapult player, you ideally don't want to just A move, because if you A move, then it'll shoot the closest unit. Uh, ideally, you want to shoot in the middle of the pack so that no matter which way uh, they, they they run, which way they kite, uh, they're 
you'll more likely to to hit a shot. So, um, a bit of a friendly fire damage, and yeah, a little bit of a. This is the tech advantage uh, coming into play um, for destroy call. Um, I would like to see some workers actually. Some workers bring them over here for repair and also like slow push maybe with towers, uh, but you don't need to do that. Um, but that's kind of the playstyle that I do know Destroy Call enjoys going for. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be the first gyro that's going to come out. I w do expect to see them, you know, harassing on the side bases uh, and then go for a big frontal push while uh, this guest is distracted. Um, Destroy Call also is going to stand out some spotters for the fourth base, and our guest is doing the same, it looks like, with these soldiers. Um, always a good thing to. Uh, as long as you have like a you know good standing army, uh, you it's good to you know just leave a unit here and there just to uh, keep tabs on the fourth base timing. Uh, you don't want to do it too early because that's just let's say you have like ten units, then you're missing ten percent of your army. But uh, you know at a certain stage, it's really good too. Uh, one thing I do want to criticize is that uh, Destroy Call is kind of using the Gyrocraft as part of the army. I'd say it's definitely better to use it as a as uh, like a harassment kind of tool kind of thing. Um, some good shots on both sides. Uh, when you're playing soldiers and also catapults, you really need to be careful about the friendly fire. Well, that was a big shot over there. Uh, you really need to be careful about the friendly fire. Um, one thing that I noticed Destroy Call is doing looks like he's targeting specific catapults. That's exactly what you want to do. Ideally, uh, you want to, you don't want to like friendly fire like uh, this guest is doing right now. That's a bit of a mistake, I feel like. Uh, but this is some like you know high level gameplay kind of. Ooh, that's a big shot. Uh, what you want to do is with your catapults, you want to target their catapults, and especially the ones that are like. Go, uh, the furthest away from the way you're going, right? So if you're moving in and you want to shoot the ones at the back, if you're running away, you want to shoot the ones at the front. Um, yeah. Some good fights. Uh, looks like the short call was going to get a base, but it looks like something was cancelled here from that soldier. Gonna send a single soldier over. Um, yeah, oh, okay. One thing I really don't like is that he's using these gyrocraft craft for. Not for uh, harassment. I feel like the reason he's doing, he's using these gyrocraft is for the vision advantage. Um, to get like the vision, because catapults shoot further than they can see. So by having the gyrocraft, you might be able to see a little bit further. Um, yes, but also I feel like just uh, going for harassment would have been better. But now towers are up, so it's fine, I guess. Uh, it's a bit of a poor fight for destroy call. Those catapults weren't really shooting that much. Uh, that's a good shot over there, but it uh, looks like it's going to be slightly in favor of the blue player. Our blue player also went for Ballista to counter the Gyrocraft. Oh, I think two? Yeah, two advanced workshops as well. Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty good cleanup here. Um, yeah, once again, just you need to be careful about this friendly fire if you're playing uh, soldiers and catapults, or wolves and catapults, for example. Any melee unit with catapults, you really need to be careful. Um, but yeah, so this is an advantage for a destroy call. Our blue player has not decided to take a fourth base yet, but uh, this is halfway, nearly halfway done. So. Yeah, I also do would like to see some sort of harassment, maybe, you know, sending a handful of soldiers or something, going for a run by, um, test the waters, you know, you could send like three or four soldiers and you'd be able to take that down. Um, that would be good. Also, some upgrades would be nice, I feel like. Um, especially mech upgrades because they scale really well. I feel like mech upgrades are really important, but, uh. You know, they have, they're busy fighting, I feel like, so I guess it's fine. So this fourth base is going to come up, whereas this one is uh, almost complete. Ooh, this is good, this is good, this is exactly what I wanted. So we have a, is that a gyro? No, it's not, okay. We have a catadrop going across the map, let's going to see if that's able to take find some damage. This is also something I really like, uh, sending one soldier across... Uh, just to see where it is, where the opponent's army is. Really good. Um, yeah. So overall, so far, a really good game. Um, like, once again, these ones, you don't want to target the soldiers, you want to target the uh, opponent catapults. Uh, very important to do. But yeah. 
these gyros are definitely doing a bit of damage. I would like to see them attack the... prioritize the Dodgers first. On the other side of the map, we have the Catapult Drop coming in, doing a lot of damage. Mr. Cloud pretty slow right now to pull his workers. And that's gonna clear out an entire mineral line. Uh, a gold mine. So yeah, uh, our blue player winning on both fronts, really well done. I feel like the big, really, the big issue is that these Jedi crafts, um, they really aren't doing much. I feel like uh, at, those resources could be spent a little bit better in using other units or, you know, something like that. This drop is still alive, but uh, Destroy Call is a bit on top of that, so not going to do too much. Um, and yeah, it looks like it's a pretty sizable advantage for our blue player at the moment, but it isn't over. Uh, these catapults are going to be chased down by Ballista in the airship and also the gyrocraft. Um, yeah, this... Oh, I do like this, you know, leaving one behind to queue fire onto the gold. This one's probably also going to queue fire onto this. Ooh, just recall very quick to pull away from that. Well done. Um, but yeah, I do want to see some saturation over here. Would be nice. We do have upgrades for our blue player and not yet for destroy call, unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, yeah. So destroy call still hasn't uh, done that. Also hasn't resaturated his third. Um, yeah, there there was a wa random watchtower. Looks like uh, destroy call wanted to take this base, but that's going to be shut down pretty handily. And now these gyrocraft are starting to get a lot of value. I do like this. Um, you know, I was kind of like hating on the Gyrocraft, but right now, picking off some units, I love it. I think that's the Ballista coming back. The Ballista gonna take out that airship, well done, and then just gonna hop right back in. Okay. A little bit of friendly fire damage, that's not good. Um, yeah. These units aren't really doing anything, I feel like. Definitely put them back. Oh, you don't want to lose that. You don't want to lose that! Okay, just drop in time and escapes with the airship. Well done, okay. This fight is going a lot better for Destroy Call. Uh, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. Like, with Defender's Advantage, you, uh, I think our guest is going to survive. And yeah, the supply is tail to tail. We do have this uh, small portion of the army going to go Q fire onto the mineral line as well. So I call not able to respond to that in time. I would like to see a kind of fellow of workers being pulled for the repair here uh, for all these mechanical bruised units. Um, and yeah, it looks like uh, our guest is gonna basically run away with this. Um, yeah, no sort of uh, harassment done by the circle. I would like to see some. I would have liked to see those gyros do a bit more harassment or um, you know some sort of cata drops like uh, our guest did. Um, but yeah, things are looking very good. This is a ramp that is pretty difficult to push up, but it looks like it's gonna, you know, two ships passing in the night. It's gonna get into position very well. Um, ooh, just recall taking this base. That's a very interesting base to take, but I guess he noticed that that base was being patrolled, or there was a unit there. A uh, good pull away with the workers here, and, uh... With nowhere to kite back to, I feel like this is just going to be cleaned up. And in the middle of the map, a huge army is also just barreling down, straight down the middle. Um, yeah, these catapults are being cleaned up very well, and I think the Strickle has no answer for this army over here. Um, yeah. I think that's going to be it, pretty much. Um, yeah, some very, very, very good play. Out of both players here, I feel like this is this has to be weird, right? Unless it's Rhinus. Rhinus, no. Rhinus, but Rhinus does a lot more like multi prong. It's definitely more uh, better with his mech control, I think. Um, not to say this player played poorly, but uh, I think just more experience with uh, with mech Rhinus has. And uh, GG. The circle thinks it's Invictus. I tend to disagree. Invictus, for those of you who don't know, uh, doesn't play a lot of vanilla. Uh, definitely a mod maker, a map maker kind of person. But what he does play, he plays a lot of beast styles, I think. Um, I'm more inclined to think this is Weird Rats. There's not a lot of people who can challenge uh, Destroy Call at this level. Could be like It's Jay or like Steve Nader and he got on a really good day, but... Uh, 
yeah, I think it's going to be Weird Rat, I think. Uh, there's not really much to, you know, there was, like, good micro overall. Um, the big thing for me was, uh, this isn't happening right now, but, like, the the rallying of the of the production buildings to a specific unit. I'm not sure if other people do that a lot. I don't do that, but uh, Weird Rat does occasionally, especially in their early games. So I think that's probably the biggest tell. Um, other than that, just solid, solid play. Uh, pretty high level game over here. Um, yeah, uh, my guess is Weird Rat. We'll see if I'm correct in the next episode. If you want to submit a replay, uh, there's a link in the description. And yeah, I'll see you next time.